Hello, and welcome back to the Divine Beast Cave of Dark Cloud. Today, we enter... What floor is it? Floor 8, because we didn't actually finish it last time. I forgot. We couldn't finish it. But this time, we have someone who can actually cross the river. Because apparently, I'm not al agile enough. So, the way you call for your allies is press the select button. It opens up a care selection, just go over to them, and you swap over. And then, when you're this character, you're able to just jump over pits. So, the way Zhao here works... Um, firstly, let's open this door. Uh, Dragon's Crest, yay! Alright, the way Zhao works... Uh, her main weapon is the slingshot. We're just getting move on to the next one. Um, her main her main weapon is the slingshot, which I think we might be able to. No, it's not this floor. All right, one of these floors, a little bit later, we're going to be able to. Anyway, we'll we'll go over that later. So, her weapon does more damage when close by, and I missed. But, it's still not really all that good. It, it, it's, it's the default weapon, it's not that good. So, we're going to swap over to the main character until we get her an actual, like, better weapon than what she has now. What she has now is not good enough to take out anything. And we're able to leave the floor already. But, we have to get all the Atla first. What do we get from this one? Dran's Horn. Ah, one of the pieces to the, um... Dran's Windmill. Wait, so, Dran's Windmill is the... is basically the, one of the few things that you are forced to complete of the town in order to, uh, move on in the game. You don't have to... I, I don't think Dran's Windmill has a request. I think... Actually, no. I think the mayor wants to be near Dran's windmill, from what I remember. Tram oil! I can finally talk about this. So, tram oil... Gosh dang it. Tram oil is the item used to unlock the back floor of one of the floors you're on. S some floors don't have back floors for certain reasons. This one... does not. It might just not have spawned with one, because... It's totally randomized. Ow. So, here's one thing that is nice. Your characters don't share health or thirst or anything. As it should have been obvious because I was able to increase the health of one and water of one without increasing it for the other. But, what you can do with that is, if one of your characters is extremely weak, or low on health, you can swap out- you, you can change characters. However, if one of your characters falls in battle... Uh, okay, that was very dangerous to do. Don't- don't do what I just did. That's very loud. So, if one of your characters falls in battle, and you don't have stand-in powder, which I currently don't, um, it will count as a- as- well, not really a game over because you just get kicked out, but it will be- it will count as just being kicked out of the dungeon with half your money. So be careful. <laughs> if any of your characters fall in battle and you don't have anything to uh, revive them or stand in powder to change characters, then, <laughs> well, you're kicked out of the dungeon. So yeah, we, we could go to the back floor now. The back floor items often sell for quite a bit as well if you want to. I'm probably going to save them for actually going to the back floor, though, because the stuff you get there is often more worth it than... So if you... It, more worth it than selling the, uh... Selling the item needed to go there. Wow, the exit is right next to the entrance. Cool. <laughs> because... Oh, alright. So... Firstly, you are a jerk. Yay! My combo actually worked for once. So... I'm not sure if this is a thing or not, but whenever I want a weapon for a specific character, also Lamp, um, I always switch to them before opening the chest. 
I don't like this man. Okay. Hi, Happy Clown. I always choose a small box. Let's see what we get this time. Ah, we got the we got the lesser reward from it. So, if, if you get a normal item, the other box has something really good in it. <laughs> Too close. But if you get like a weapon or uh, a weapon or a uh, attachment for a weapon, then you got the best reward. If you get a normal item, then you got the worst reward. Sadly, I got the worst reward, and I'm not fighting... You know what? Okay. Here's something else I can talk about. If you use an item... Eh, heh, heh, never mind. I guess I can't talk about it. Well, I can talk about it still, but it just didn't work. If you uh, kill an enemy with an item... If you use an item to kill an enemy like a bomb or something, the enemy will always drop an item. It is guaranteed. And it will always drop what it is weak to as well. So that guy would drop a Metal Breaker, I think it is. I think it's called. So it makes it easier to kill them without items. It's, it's a nice thing, but I just have the worst aim when it comes to bombs, apparently. So... Strand's Feather. Holding square makes you run quite a bit faster. And it says that it breaks, um, which it does, but it takes a while to break, so it's fine to use. I did not know you could poison me. That is actually annoying. Hang on. So, as you can see, with this 10 defense, I take a lot less damage. And, all characters have a different item that increases their defense. So if you get an item for a specific character... Oh, here's a black back floor, I guess I just missed it. Anyway, if you, had a, if you have an item... Let's see. If you have an item for, uh, that says fav uh, Blank's favorite food, it can only be used on them. Otherwise, it's just like, doesn't work. <laughs> I don't think you waste the item either, I think it just doesn't do anything. But, uh, yeah, so, it, and normally, if you get, an, if you get a character in a town, you'll often get more of their, um, defense increasing items than any other characters. So I will be giving some health extensions, and, it, well, I will, I will be giving some health extensions to my ranged characters, just not nearly as much as the melee characters, because melee characters get hit a lot more. Meanwhile, the water, it, the gourds are going to be passed around evenly across all characters, so... Just so that I can be using anyone at any given time. And it's afternoon, apparently. Nice. I don't think the day number matters ever. I think it's just something to keep track. So what all we got? We got a windmill. So... One, two, three, there. And then we got a ladder. Do I have Laura's house? I don't think I do. I do not. Well, that was a very useful thing. Let's go place down some of these. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Um, uh, one of these trees, this one I guess, can move over to the front of the windmill. Uh, that can go there. In fact, that can go there as well, because this thing messes with stuff. And then tree can go back here. Alright. Do I have any more trees? I got an I oh, I've got a bunch more bridges, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put one... Nope, not there. You, you have to have a river on both sides of the river piece you're putting a bridge on in order for it to be actually placed, so... Alright. Uh, that is all we could do for building, so we're gonna go around and look for red boxes, and then we'll end the episode. Let's see what we got here. Uh, what's up here? Nothing. Uh, 
spawns. I'm pretty sure one of the red boxes spawns in here, but I guess it doesn't yet. Uh, does the one that spawned here work? It, it's not there yet. I'm good at words, I promise. Uh, and we have a red box here. What's inside? Red. Hmm. It's red. And I got another Fruit of Eden. That will, again, go on the main character, because ranged characters don't really need it if you're... <laughs> if you use them for range. Let's see if there's one up here. Yes, there is. Attack plus two. That's a nice one. Just increases a weapon's attack by two. And attack is basically just... That is how much damage you're doing. I don't think many enemies have defense. So... Now, I'm not sure what happens if your defense is higher than an enemy's attack, if they will do one damage or zero. I've never seen it. Mostly because once I finish a town, I don't ever go back to their dungeon, because I can grind better in newer dungeons, so... Eh. If, if you want an easier time, you can go back to previous dungeons just to destroy them, but otherwise... doesn't really help all that much. I think I got all the ones from this house. Uh, anything from the shop? Nope. Well, if I don't find any in this house... Around this house as well. Uh, I think that's about it for this episode. So, I will see you all next time when we re-enter the dungeon for another time and see if we can rebuild the town even more. I will see you then.